La Benson abre espacios a todos. Para todos los que no tienen voz, los que han impostado su voz y a quienes les han robado su voz porque la tenían antes. The Benson Latin American Collection is one of the best collections in the world for the study of Latin America and Latinos in the United States. The Nettie Lee Benson Latin American Collection started 100 years ago. It started with the acquisition of the Genaro Garcia Collection. There's two delegates from the University of Texas at Austin that are in Mexico City. They were walking down the street, saw a book in a, in a used bookstore window. It happened to be a first edition of Bernal Diaz del Castillo's True History of the Conquest of New Spain. And one of them apparently said to the other, this book belongs at the University of Texas. The shop owner says to them, this is one book in a much, much larger collection made up of thousands of, of manuscript pages, thousands of newspapers and periodicals, and thousands of books. We're talking 17 tons worth of materials. So they were able to convince the university to purchase it. Over the past 100 years, expert librarians and archivists and historians have worked hard to make this a collection that is as comprehensive as possible. It didn't become the Benson until the 1970s when it was named after uh, one of the librarians. Yo diría que la Biblioteca Benson es el pulso de la historia, de la historia de América Latina y de la historia de las relaciones entre América Latina y Estados Unidos. Since that original acquisition, the library has expanded and grown. We have over one million resources dedicated to U.S. Latino and Latin American subject matter, whether that's politics, history, literature, film, music. The Benson is important for the Latinx community because it is a place where the Latinx History is being preserved. We particularly want UT students to be able to see themselves in this collection. It's amazing when you see that connection that students make. This is a place where cultural heritage is protected and preserved. Since 2011, the Benson Collection has been linked to the Lozano Long Institute for Latin American Studies, named for the, the late Teresa Lozano Long. It essentially links the number one graduate program in Latin American Studies in the United States to the premier Latin American library collection in the world. Nosotros podemos no solo brindar la plataforma académica al investigador que necesita la biblioteca, sino también generar currículum para los estudiantes, tanto de licenciatura, de, de pregrado, como de posgrado. Beyond our physical collections, we have greatly expanded the reach of our collection through our digital holdings. The Benson is providing remote access to collections via digital initiatives. Whether you're in Tokyo, Lima, or New York City, you can get access to a wide range of materials from the Benson. It's allowing us to produce knowledge in new, innovative ways. One of the other things that we are known for as Lila Spenson is our post-custodial program. The goal is to use digital technologies to be able to build collections without necessarily extracting collections from their places of origin. We have found it to be especially effective for at-risk records, like human rights documentation or anything that's politically at risk. Lila Spenson assists with the preservation and digitization of the physical materials, and then we hold the digital files here on our servers at UT. Another area of strength for us is Indigenous Studies. ILA is a digital repository designed to make materials in Indigenous languages accessible. They have over 300 Indigenous languages being offered through their digital repository. The number of those languages are at risk, and the goal of ILA is to document those and to keep what is essentially a living archive of those languages. Para mí la Benson es un puente que une a mi país natal, México, 
y a mi país adoptivo, Estados Unidos. Si nos fijamos, es siempre como una conexión entre el pasado y el presente. Yo creo que, de verdad, la Benson eh, es única por los materiales que tiene. Yo, yo creo que es muy difícil encontrar en todo Estados Unidos una biblioteca como la Benson. Nettie Lee Benson was a force of nature. Her legacy is in good hands. I see a collection that continues to grow in both analog and digital form because those two pieces will continue to go together. I see a collection that continues to grow in its diversity with much more indigenous representation, women's voices, Afro-Latin American representation within the collection. Those stories are worth telling and the answers to questions about those stories can be found in our library. Celebrating the 100 years is less about what we've done and more about what kind of foundation have we created for the next 100 years. I'm very excited. I think the Benson is the library of the future. <laughs>